Welcome back, people of Tamriel. I am Xenocraft1212, back with another Skyrim mod showcase video. And this time we're going to be talking about this Argonian fellow right in front of us. Now, this is a mod that I made. This is my second mod, and this is my first follower mod. So his name is Begonis Be Creed, which means Argonian Blue um, Arrow, I believe. Either that or Archer or something. I'll have to... I'll put the what do answer you need? in the description because I forgot. But this is his outfit. He is based off of Feindel, who is walking away over there. So he has much the same AI as Feindel. So he lives in Riverwood. He will just kind of walk around and like chop wood and work at the mill. But I have removed the AI, the AI from to go to his house. Instead, he'll go to the inn and just stand there and wait. Now, he has the same what voice as Fandle. And he is a master archer. And if all Lead the way. Now, he has... I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? Loads of arrows, a nightingale bow, a hunting bow, and a skyforged steel sword. He currently is not wearing any armor. That armor is just you an lead, appearance. I'll follow. He actually isn't wearing any armor, and mm, I did not notice that the armor kind of clipped through itself. Whatever. That's just the appearance. He's not wearing any armor, and he may or may not become overpowered because he can level to a max level of 100, whereas sure. other followers usually max out around level 50-ish, like Level 30 to 50 is usually where other followers max out. He will continue to level with you all Riverwood's the way to 100, enough, I suppose. which may or may not be possible because the highest you can get to is 81 without le making it skill legendary. There's beauty here, He's unmatched in fatal. all of Skyrim, to and be sure. He is a master archer in the way his skills level also, so he's fairly decent at sneak, really good with a bow, and just very good overall, in theory, and he's also good at light armor. So let's go test him out on someone to kill, shall we? Also, he is okay with any crime. He will do any crime. He will not report you. He will be a good fellow. Like if we talk to him. I'm right behind you. Um, I need you to do something. All right. What is it? What do you need? I need you to kill God, this they're man. They're reforming the Dawn okay. God. Okay, got it. Why is he using that bow? So since I am high level, he is not going to do too much damage to this guard. And as you can see, he switched to the bow because he is marked as an archer. Now, uh, I don't know why he's using the weak bow. Although that's something that I've found with pretty much all followers, is for some reason they always start using the weak bow. And they all come with said weak bow. Divine smile, lead the way. Divine smile on you, friend. Come on, man. Talk. I'm right behind you. And with what convenient you horses, care? you can tell him to buy a horse, and that'll all work just fine. Completely compatible with every other mod as far Riverwood's as agreeable I know, enough, I suppose. since he doesn't village. edit anything except for things that I added for him, which is simply his outfit and him, that's it. So he should be completely compatible with literally everything. And he's fairly decent at killing. I have not tested him out on a bandit yet, so let's go to Ember Shard Mine and see how he performs. And especially using the Nightingale bow, he should There's do a cave here. way better than I against the guard. Picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Oh yeah, now he's using the bow he's supposed to. And one-shotted this bandit. He one-shot the bandit, and also he looks great in my opinion. Like, the bow and stuff, he just looks really cool. And, like I said, I tried to make him, like, customized as I could without adding any textures or meshes because I do not actually know how to import those 
but I changed Don't many, like many things on this. him. He's not, like, the his character gen data is not like a copy of anyone. He should be completely unique to every other character in the game, except for his voice. He has the same voice as Fandle. So let's see how he does against these guys. Don't shoot me. He missed. And one shot this bandit also. So yeah, he's very powerful. In previous versions, he could use the fire dragon shout, and I say dragon shout as in the same constant beam of fire that the dragons use against you, not the shout that you use, but he was way too overpowered and easily kill pretty much anything in the game with that. He's a fairly decent sized health pool, like I said, because he can level up to extremely high levels, and since my character is level 169, I think? No, 116. Because of that, he is at his max level, so he will wreck all the face and kill pretty much everything. But he is just going to continue to be in this series, and I will probably find him in my Let's Play if I continue that. By the way, guys, should I continue the Let's Play because nobody ever watches it? And also, any suggestions for any other follower mods, or like a way to change him for the better, I'm open to all suggestions. I might change his, like, arms, because the textures passing through each other is kind of annoying. But, just leave any suggestions for any, like, mods that I could make that don't require adding textures or meshes, and I will see what I can do. And until the next video, goodbye.